Don't serve me, young man. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Hello. Okay. So, before I start today's video, I want to talk a little bit about why we use the term Jehovah's Witnesses when I'm really targeting the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society and the governing body. The answer is simple. Nobody knows what the fuck a Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is, let alone a governing body. Heck, I don't even refer to them as JW.org because that causes more confusion. People are like, JW? Just, just wondering? So that's the main reason I use the term Jehovah's Witnesses Junior Warden to kind of umbrella Johnny Walker. Uh, the whole society. The whole society. <laughs> Indoctrination slip. I sometimes am concerned that by using the words Jehovah's Witnesses, that it could put a target, so to speak, on Jehovah's Witnesses' backs. I have seen former Jehovah's Witnesses attacking current Jehovah's Witnesses as if they have no feeling, recollection, or knowledge of what it likes to be a good little soldier, to be a member, to have to abide, and to not flinch when an apostate is screaming profanities in your face. And that's not my intent. People, do we not remember what it's like to be them? Let's do it. public who aren't super familiar, Jehovah's Witnesses are the literal face of the governing body. The governing body are the leaders of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, and currently there are eight. In case you were curious, there's only one way to cease being a member of the governing body. You can ask questions or die. So the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, a.k.a. the Jehovah's Witnesses, and that's another reason I'm just going to say Jehovah's Witnesses, because I can't keep saying a.k.a. I only got so many words that I'm allowed to speak before I die, so I would like to keep as many of them reserved for sex. Obviously. Avi. The Jehovah's Witnesses' biggest strength, their most powerful weapon, is this. <coughs> yeah. Seriously, it's their smiling faces. That is the biggest strength. This face, that's why I still hate taking pictures, because I can only hold the phony smile for so long. So these are the people that come to the door. Those faces are why the Jehovah's Witnesses, the governing body, the society, are so incredibly dangerous. It's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant weapon used by psychopaths around the world, because it works. And this is essentially how they slide under the radar of being a cult. They appear harmless, and their members are so happy and, and oh, so, so loving. The society is successful because they manage to trick the world, year after year, and decade after decade, into believing that they are harmless. They smile, they relate so well. As we've all heard, Jehovah's Witnesses are good people. I mean, let's be honest, nobody sees the Jehovah's Witnesses collectively as a threat. Oh, well, yeah, except us. And those motherfuckers plan for that. Well, how could they be jamming us if they don't know if we're coming? The apostates are coming! The apostates are coming! It's a trap! Russell and Rutherford knew. They're like, there are gonna be some smart motherfuckers out there. They're gonna know we're lying. And they might tell others, what are we going to do about it? Send them to work on my new house in California? Uh, you're right, you're right. That should be a privilege. That should be a privilege. They knew that some people might question. They knew that some people might research. And God forbid, they knew that some people would think. Dirty word! He said a dirty word! Think. Okay, right, but they changed those those words, questions, research, think, to words like spiritually weak, bad association, mentally diseased. No, not that mentally diseased. The other mentally diseased. The Rutherford Russells were smart motherfuckers. They knew we'd show up. The nonconformists. Us weirdos. They knew they'd be questioned, and those they, 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 they planned ahead, and then they banked on it. They warned the members of their congregations that their friends and family, the people they love most, might question, research, and think. 
and that's bad. And you will cut them off in Jehovah's name. It was seared into us how dangerous it is to question, research, and think. Jehovah's Witnesses that question, research, or think, spiritually weak, bad association, and mentally diseased. And you will cut them off in Jehovah's name. Jehovah's Witnesses are the faces of this cult. Most of these members unknowingly protect their cult leaders with those smiling faces. They're the disguise, the mask. This is the society's biggest strength. It's an incredible weapon. And it's working. Those smiles say, everything here is okay. This is a good place to be. Do you see how happy we are? And they believe it. And the world believes it. They're really good people. No one collectively thinks that the Jehovah's Witnesses are dangerous. Fuck. That's scary. In modern terms, think of it this way. The Jehovah's Witnesses are kind of like COVID-19, right? Looks like the common cold. Some of us even get full-on symptoms. And some die. The Rutherford Russell founders warned members about us. The apostates are coming! The apostates are coming! And when we showed up, they said, clearly, See? Jehovah saw this coming! We told you! And then we, the thinkers, Us weirdos. Are left in the dark. And by that I mean we are cut off. Dead. We no longer exist to the friends and family members that haven't figured it out and haven't escaped. You are dead to them. So for those of you who are still supporting Jehovah's Witnesses, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to have to assume that you can't read. So my first recommendation would be to get some Dick and Jane books, learn those sounds, learn those words, followed by some Dr. Seuss, he's a good read, and then read bigger words and even bigger books, and you might be surprised what you learn. This among other things, like, you know, the Holocaust really did happen. But you won't know until you learn to read. And other than that, there's no real reason to continue supporting people that are hurting and damaging so many other people. So learn to read, pick up a book, and until then, I'll see you next time. I'm on the television!